Lebanon's economic system is long outdated. For the past 30 years now, our business model as a country has fell out of sync with international markets. Our economy has simply become less and less complex. We have lost the ability to create valuable outputs. In such an inefficient system, corrupt and inefficient practices triumph. Lebanon currently ranks 143 out of 190 countries in the ease of doing business indicator. Won't come as a surprise to anyone here. One striking number, it takes an average of 96 hours of border procedures when it comes to export food products. More than twice the time for MENA countries. What type of immediate measures are needed? Let's start with supporting local businesses. Simply put, eat Lebanese, drink Lebanese, and buy Lebanese. Then, building cross-sector partnerships and integrating our supply chains. This is how we build up our economic complexity. The more our companies and sectors are linked, the faster we will rebound as an economy. And more importantly, we cannot rebuild an economy with half our workforce out of the market. We have to employ more women and youth in our workforce by putting in place direct incentives. In terms of medium-term measures, honorable members of parliament with us today, it is up to you to step up, protect local production from dumping, and defend Lebanese products and services in international trade agreements. You need to protect and incentivize local production. Three words, decentralize, decentralize, decentralize. The more we reduce the pressure on a central system, the easier it becomes to manage various smaller and targeted economic initiatives. On the role of the private sector, clustering is what will allow our companies to increase overall sector productivity. We need to produce larger quantities of goods and services. It's time to increase our economic complexity by collaborating together. Market operators, such as Lebanese importers and distributors, need to encourage local producers by establishing partnerships for locally produced products. They need to be incentivized to produce part of their portfolio locally. As for initiatives within our network, Biel, the project I lead, is about increasing the local output capacity for the agri-food sector. More than 60 companies are now part of various clusters of food producers, and we are taking them collectively into export markets. From the farmer on the field, to the production line, to the marketing team branding the product, and the IT team managing the online platform where sales are being made, we multiply the impact of, the impact of generated revenue for every person involved in the supply chain. This is how we build complexity and maximize the economic impact in the country.